John Shaw was an Old West outlaw. His birth date is unknown, and he died in 1905. He is not famous for his deeds and exploits, which occurred during his life, but for what happened to him after his death. There are probably thousands of untold wild and weird stories of the Old West that were undocumented and thus lost in history forever. However, John Shaw's story has stood the test of time due to photographs and eyewitness testimony. Shaw and an accomplice, William Smith, entered the Wigwam Saloon in Winslow, Arizona in the late night at approximately 1.30 a.m. on April 8, 1905. The two hooligans went to the bar and ordered drinks, but stacks of silver dollars at a dice table caught their interest before they had a chance to down their whiskey. Shaw and Evans drew their pistols and robbed the dice players of $271. Navajo County, Arizona Sheriff Chet Houck and his deputy Pete Pemberton tracked the two outlaws to Canyon Diablo, 25 miles west of Winslow. The lawmen spotted their prey near the trading post at the train stop in Canyon Diablo. The fugitives walked toward the lawmen and a close range gunfight ensued. The Cococino Sun newspaper later wrote that there were 21 shots fired at such close range that Sheriff Houck's hand was burned by one of Shaw's shots, but he only received a bullet hole in his coat from that round. Shaw was killed by Sheriff Houck's last round in his revolver, a shot directly to the head. The newspaper account of the gun battle indicates that Shaw was hit three times with the shot to the head obviously being the fatal blow. Shaw's desperado accomplice, Smith, was hit three times, none seriously. The two lawmen each received a superficial wound, non-life-threatening. It has always amazed me that many of the Old West gunfights were reportedly at very close range with no serious injuries occurring. Think about this gun battle. 21 shots with the combatants reportedly only four feet apart and only one death. The lack of marksmanship by these Old West warriors pretty much astounds me. A hasty burial was performed for Shaw in the local cemetery and his wounded sidekick Smith was taken to the hospital in Winslow and eventually convicted for the robbery and incarcerated in the Yuma prison. Word soon spread in Winslow about the shootout and death of Shaw. A bunch of local cowboys from the Hash Knife Ranch, a cattle ranch in the area, got drunk the next night at the Wigwam Saloon and decided that since John Shaw had not drank his drink before the robbery, they would dig him up and pour some whiskey in his mouth. Alcohol can make people do weird and stupid things, but one has to marvel at the thought process that led these cowboys to make such a decision. Anyway, the men took the train to Canyon Diablo and borrowed shovels from the trading post proprietor, Fred Voles. Mr. Voles gave the men a box camera to photograph Shaw's corpse. He did this at the request of Sheriff Houck, who wanted a record of the death in case a reward should be available. Consequently, the visual record of the bizarre happenings of that early morning at the Cococino County Cemetery. The cowboys did indeed dig up John Shaw's corpse and did indeed pour some whiskey in his mouth. The photographs and eyewitness accounts of some of the cowboys have preserved the weird scene for history to record and be accepted as factual. If you enjoyed this video and history in general as I do, make a comment, give a thumbs up, and above all else, subscribe to the channel. This is a new channel and subscribes are needed and appreciated. As always, thanks for watching.